Alrighty, guys. Here we are. So welcome to Pestilence Gaming, guys. A uh, quick thing about what we're doing. So I have some friends who've been talking about OBS. Now, not just regular OBS. Like we have regular uh, OBS Studios. You can see the programs right here. And there's a big question that people have been asking. And with that being said, it's your chat. Uh, they want to put their YouTube live chat up on screen. Now you can do the same thing with your Twitch as well. But we're going to talk about YouTube live chat on your screen for transparency. So with that being said, there's quite a few steps that we're going to do and we're going to kick right into it because I don't like to wait. So the first thing you do in your OBS is you're going to go into your sources and you're going to click your little plus symbol and it's actually a browser source. Fun fact. Now, normally, like there'll be something like that. We just uh, name it something simple, like chat, and you click OK. Now, your properties comes up here, and this is your chat. So every chat like will come up uh, differently, and you can size it out right here, uh, width and length. Which, by the way, you do want to be kind of accurate with it. Uh, you'll have to play with it and fidget around. Now. The next step is kind of simple. So now that we have this open, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of leave it right there. And I'm going to bring over my YouTube channel. Now this is my current YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. So you see all this kind of fun jazz. I go through a different way than others. Uh, you kind of like, I'll bring you guys uh, back to the regular YouTube thing. So what I'll do is I'll go like that and like that. Now at the top right corner, you click onto your little icon, and there's this one here that says YouTube Studio. So we're gonna go there. And then on the left hand side, you're gonna click on the word videos. Now this is a big step. You can click live, but I tend to do that. I click live, and then I come down to my latest live stream, or the one that I'm on, and I just click live dashboard so review and live dashboard it's right here pretty simple so far right then this page comes up now this is really important because this is where you can like change your title and your thumbnail and all that fun jazz the game you're playing the description of the video uh, just like in my next this one here we'll have the description set up now you're gonna click on the three lines so there's this this slide right here that says top chat uh, sometimes people can like do live chat all of them are visible but some messages such as potential spam may not be visible that's okay we're gonna click on this the three lines in the top corner and click pop out chat now we did that so this is something that's pretty important so we don't need this anymore so we're gonna move it out of the way onto the other screen and you're gonna kinda see we're back to this thing So from there, you're going to see that you have your URL, and there's a URL right here at the top. So what you want to do is you want to copy, and you're going to paste that into here. So Control-V. Now that this is just the first step, right? So we click that, and boom. Now, if I wanted to type in chat, like so. So this is the, this is the real one, and then the other one's like right there on the overlay right under here. So... We're going to move here. I'm just going to type hello. It should come up on screen. So now that it says hello and it's showing that it's working, you don't want that. You don't want this like this specific thing right here. You don't want it to be so colorful like the way it is. So what you do now, right click properties. We're going to kind of I don't like the 800, so let's say we're going to go 600, and we're going to go 800. Now we're going to reverse what it was, and now it's a, a stand tall. And that's pretty cool as it is, but how do you make it transparent? So what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to go to a website. Now I'm going to bring that website onto screen right now. So this here is our website. The website will be in the description of the video. 
but just for your guys' use and understanding, it is uh, chatv2.septapis.com. Uh, now, it comes out like this. This is your like uh, example of what it looks like, and you can actually kind of like preview everything. So let's say the owner color, uh, you can make it like this. So owner color is uh, Tyler in this sense. And you can change the size of your font. Uh, your font could be different. Like you can change the, everything about this. So Devonshire changes the names. You want something that you can read. So we're going to go with Eagle Lake. Uh, you can really modify it around. So like the owner there's the owner color, the moderator color, so like what color your mods come up in your chat on screen. So let's say pink, I like pink. Sponsor is like uh, super chatters, so we'll put the super chat like that, nice and big and bold and blue. Uh, show badges, yeah, let's show badges. Why not? Nah, we'll, we won't. Uh, messages, so you got messages like the, this, the writing. So if you go like this, you can change it uh, let's go right there. Uh, there's all sorts of cool things like you got background colors, so you can actually get a background on it. Just kind of show you. See? So it's the background of each chat, but for the sake of what we're doing, we're not going to do any of that. So now, this is the next step. Scroll down to the bottom, and there's like this long code thing at the bottom of your screen. What you need to do is you come up to the top left and you're just gonna scroll all the way down I missed the spot so I'm just gonna go all the way back up and you're gonna go control copy now we don't need that right now so we're gonna throw that to the side and then this one here it says custom CCS now this is where the important part comes in that you guys want to see uh, with the custom CCS is it says body this 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 so what you're gonna do is you're actually just gonna go like that and then you're gonna go control V and you're gonna paste that entire thing in there now if you click OK now my chat disappeared and there is writing so when you show icons it'll show like the icon of the person who's chatting in the thing whereas otherwise it won't so then you're like, um, somebody's chatting, and they're like, OMG, this is so cool. Just like that. Boom. Now it's on your chat. Right? So, again, there are a lot of different things you can play with on that program. It's really cool, really fun to use. If you guys do have any questions that you guys want to know about it, please, by all means, just comment below what you guys are asking about OBS, and we may be able to do some more tutorials. Uh, with that being said, though, that is what we were trying to show you. Uh, there are different ways you can do, deal with your chat and different ways to make it work for you as a person, as a streamer, right? But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you guys did like it, please smash the like button and that notification bell for more content. And we gotta, we'll see you next time.